Good afternoon, everybody. This prophetic word is going to come from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 9 and 10. That's your homework. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 9 and 10. There's two characteristics that we need to really be reminded of. I need to be reminded of that often myself. And I know there's many listening to this video right now that need to be reminded of the promises of God and how they work. The promises of God are obviously, as the Bible says, yes. Absolutely, that's obvious. If it's anything that's a promise from God, it's always yes, as long as it is a promise from God, right? But there are characteristics based on Hebrews chapter 11, verse 9 and 10, that speak of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob being sojourners in the land. I need you to read that. With that being said, there's two characteristics, as I said a minute, moment ago, that need to be reminded and remembered as we receive the promises of God in our life, as we see them act out in our lives. The first one is, the promises of God are a stewardship. They belong to God still. God does not give us a promise from Him and leave it to our own reckoning, our own way of doing things. There's always God still wrapped around and very much a part of those promises. In fact, directions on how to act out those promises, like marriage and finances and things given to us that we know God has given to us, our salvation, there are directions to that. That means that it's a stewardship because it's something given to us by God. But interestingly enough, a promise from God is never relinquished to us entirely. He still owns it. He's still ultimately responsible for it. But we have our own stewardship, our own responsibility in the promise of God, if you know what I mean. We have to be good stewards. We got to do what God says to do with those promises. Only. There is no other option. That's why they're called the promises of God. The other characteristic of the promises of God is they are temporary in this lifetime. They do not last forever, as you will see in that chapter and those verses. Hebrews 11, chapter 11, verse 9 and 10. So understand the promises of God are meant to be operated as a stewardship. He owns them still, and we are brought into the involvement to be allowed to use them. They are never just given to us to use them the way that we want. They are to be used and they are created in our lives to be used according to His will, the way He wants them to operate in our lives. And that the second thing is, the promises of God are temporary in this lifetime, no matter how long you have them. You may have uh, family members and marriages and jobs and money and all these other things that God gives you that are under the category of a promise. They are temporary. So be a good steward and with the promises of God. Do, by being a good steward, you do with them what God tells you through his word to do with them. And secondly, understand that you have only a period of time to operate and to exercise those promises when they do come into your life. All promises are ran this way. There's not one promise from God that's not involving these two characteristics. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 9 and 10. God bless you guys.